Today, I gonna to share with you how to build a form with multi pages. Let's check the Excel contents that shared in OneDrive. To break the form into multi pages, we need to add an empty columns between pages. Like this example, I break the form into six pages. Let's back to the app sheet. Always remember, the first thing we need to do is to define the column's data type first. In this video, I'll share with you what are the data type that I used for each field. Declare each field according to their nature. And the app sheet will automatically validate each input from user. And to break the form to the second page, we may set the field to show. And remember, after every changes, save and verify data. Let's go through with some sample input. For the photo, due to I am using PC without camera, so it only allow me to choose the picture from storage. But in mobile, this field can be capture image with camera. Enter the name. The symbol beside the identity field mean. This field is a key and required field. Key field must be unique. Next, enter the phone and the email. Second page, enter the address. Third page, is applying job. The value from the drop-down list is loaded from other Excel file. Let's see how to retrieve the value from the other file. Set the column type as reference. And set the source table of the retrieved data. Let's proceed to next page. The education profile is set as a new. A new providing a set of option for user to select from. And a new is only allow one option to be choose. Let's check its setting. Column type is set as a new. And add all the option in the value section. For the spoken and written language, it is similar to education profile. It providing a set of option to let user choose. But I set them as enum list, because user is allowed to choose more than one option from the list. Like this. Next, the fifth page. For currently employed column, I set it as yes slash no type. The available start date declare as date. and the desired pay range is price. And I set the minimum value as 1,200 because it is a minimum salary paid in Malaysia. Set the currency symbol as RM. Let's enter 500 for the pay range. It is invalid because it is less than the allowed minimum value. In the last page, user is required to submit resume. The resume column will be declared as file. Done, let's save the data and check the result. So this is our new added data. This is about the end of the video. In the next video, I will share with you. How to automatically send an email to person in charge after the candidate submit the application form. The automatically sending email, we need further setting in action and workflow. 